My name is Ron Watkins and I am not a politician. I am an entrepreneur and I am a computer scientist. We have to send a fighter and I am your fighter. I am fighting for you. If you send me to DC, you will know that I will be fighting against this evil and I will make sure that we drive them back and I will make sure that your rights are, are kept. Thank you. Ron Watkins is running for Congress in uh, Arizona. And as you can see, he's the alleged uh, brains and uh, body behind Q of QAnon. And um, in case you didn't believe that, all you have to do is listen to him speak and you'll be like, yeah, that sounds right about <laughs> No, no, right. That's the funny part, Jay. Before you even give more clips, and there's one of these clips is one of the funniest things you'll ever see. So stay right here for that. Uh, this guy, HBO documentary, exposed him as the most likely person to actually be QAnon. He ran, he ran the the platform that QAnon sent messages to, and at a bare minimum, he would certainly know who QAnon is. But it is very, very likely him. Okay, <laughs> so he decided to run for office, and this is the legendary QAnon. Mm. Isn't it, I mean, like 30% of Republicans believe this guy. They thought he was this legendary hero. And now you see him with your own eyes. And it's the guy behind the curtain. He's like, I will be your fighter. Uh, uh, your rights, I will make sure your rights are kept. I am not a kept politician. <laughs> I am a robot sent to create memes and Nazi stuff. Anyway, I have a large collection. Like, I love it because it's not only that, it's like this is like the voice, but this is the person behind like misogynist, racist comments online that, like, you know, they hurt, they're awful, they're disgusting. You read them and you're like, Ugh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And they're like, oh, it's it's just these Ron Watkinses. It's just these these guys are the ones who are behind it all. You know, I think they have the line of like, uh, with one of us, because all the rest of us, something like that. Where um, we? <laughs> something like that. That's definitely like, not like, it. If, if, but it is something like, if I go, you follow. Way, something. I'll catch up, I think, yeah. is the line. Yes. <laughs> you go ahead in front of me. <laughs> I will maybe show up later for lunch. I think that's, <laughs> yeah, that's slogan, it, yeah, right? Yeah, it's probably true because you could insert any Q person, and they could do the same thing he's done. They're all the same. Anyways, so let's get straight to the, uh, the next instances from this debate that he was talking about. Let's get by who he is. We discussed who he is. He says he's not really him, but he is, and he's developed this whole thing. What well, seems he is. But here's the next moment in this debate uh, that was wonderful. Watch. I want to say that we would not even be in Ukraine if President Biden did not shut down the Keystone Pipeline on the first day. Because now that that's shut down, we have to get our oil and we're getting it from Russia and we're getting all these problems through the Ukraine and that would not have happened if uh, Biden did not so shut down. So you see the Ukraine, pipeline. The, 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 the pipeline helped prompt Russia to invade Ukraine. Yes, sir, because we've got all of this oil coming through from Russia to the United States and they want the better routes to bring the oil through. That's not why they went into Ukraine. They went into Ukraine because Ukraine didn't want to be part of NATO. Listen, you're trying to be, you're trying to work on the national stage and you don't even know why the war started in Ukraine. It had nothing to do with the Keystone Pipeline. The reason why they went into Ukraine is because Russia wanted Ukraine as they had them pre-World War II and Ukraine wanted to be part of NATO. Respond, please. He's right, I made a mistake. All right. There's, no, there's too wow. much here. There's too much here. <laughs> Keystone Pipeline, Russia invaded. We lost our oil because of it. Walt Blackman, who's a state rep there in Arizona, who's running against him there in that primary, he said, no, no, but you're wrong. But everybody's wrong. It's the worst part about this. Oh, you're yeah. wrong, brother. It wasn't the Keystone Pipeline. It was Russia was trying to keep Ukraine, and Ukraine was trying to get in. <laughs> Come on, bro. It just keeps I happening mean, this way. Yeah. Well, there's okay. more, but let's open this point up. Okay, so listen. Everybody in the Republican race is a <laughs> lunatic. One of them is backed by Peter Thiel and is more dangerous than uh. all of them, right? Uh, because he has a chance to win and he, they have an agenda, take over the country, install a dictator. It's a long story. We'll do that on another day, okay? But let's stick with the QAnon nut. Um, that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Oh, awesome. uh, no, he's right, I, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I almost want to give him credit. I've never seen anybody do that in a debate. We were like, "Oh no, no, my opponent is right. I don't have any idea what I'm talking about." Okay. Yeah, we By know the way, you're not a politician. That yeah, clearly terrible. not a politician because you know his best chance of winning he is not used, which is for him to say, "Yeah, they're right. I am Q or not." And then he would actually have a chance of winning. You guys ever heard of Q? <laughs> not to brag, but like that was kind of me, you know. <laughs> so like, people love Elon, but what about the guy who made Q?
They're drinking poison in Dallas because of me. <laughs> right. No, but, but that would give him a fighter's chance. Right? Like if they don't know that he's Q, they'd be like, why is this rando in the race? Although you never know with the Republicans, they might be like, oh, a guy that doesn't know anything and is making up stuff so wild, he disavows it two minutes later. I love this guy. So <laughs> you never know, they might have watched that debate and go, Watkins, that's my boy. Watching him stumble through, like, like, I, we've all been there being like, how does this connect to the point I was trying to make? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, because um, the uh, pipeline Keystone XL went through the stone of the key. And that <laughs> had to do with um, the XL because it's extra large uh, pipeline. Oh, and word. Biden wants to make it a S, a S or M, a small or medium pipeline. And you're like, <laughs> like, it's just so fun to watch him try to figure out how oil from the tar sands gets all the way over to Russia. And like, and then he's just like, you know what? You were right. That's. I meant to My say bad. what you said. You know, Keystone XL, I just got it because it's got letters in it. He's like, ah, if it's not Q, it's XL. <laughs> okay, color me surprised that it turns out Q's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more piece, you guys, before we get out of this, because uh, he also went to the border, as he pointed out in this debate, and he was talking about what he did with those illegal coyotes, those smugglers. Watch. Mm. The biggest issue for this district is the border wall. The border wall was not completed, and there are actually sections of it that were destroyed. And I went down to those sections and I asked the locals, how did this section of the border wall get destroyed? And they told me that Biden sent the Army Corps of Engineers down there to destroy the border wall for flood, for flood prevention issues. So I went down there and I saw with my own eyes, I saw the coyotes sitting right across the border. The coyotes looked me in the eyes and they ran away. When I was down there, I saw more coyotes than I saw Border Patrol. He looked them in the eyes and the coyotes ran away. Hmm. I think he was chasing the roadrunner. That was the coyote you were searching for. <laughs> I love the idea that coyotes is, of course, the illegal smugglers, right? Yeah. And a lot of them are dangerous dudes. They're real, they exist, right? That's not a thing that you made up. Are they right across the border staring at you <laughs> into your soul? No, because then they might get caught. That's not what they do, right? They're trying to sneak people in. And I like the idea that they look at this guy and they're like, whoa, <laughs> we can't handle this, dude. We gotta run. <laughs> Who sees Ron Watkins and thinks that? <laughs> okay. And they're like, he's gonna murder in a debate real soon. We can feel it. <laughs> God, I would say make up a believable lie, but apparently it's, he might be Q. <laughs> then he, he's thinking, look, man, I made up the most unbelievable lies in American history, and everybody believed it. So you yeah. think they won't believe it if I say, I looked the coyotes in the eyes, and they were like, ah, <laughs> it's Q. And they ran away, they were so scared. What do we need a wall for? Yeah. Just send Ron. Just, exactly, put Ron on the wall, <laughs> border, and just have him going up and down the 2,000 yes. miles, okay? That'll do the job. He's just patrolling yeah. it. I mean, it's interesting, he did bring up a, like an Army Corps of Engineers dis dismantling the border wall. I'm like, I hope that's happening, is it happening? And also, <laughs> a lot of the wall that was built under Trump was like illegal because of the Rio Grande River and also private property and like the amount of environmental degradation. So I mean, honestly, like now my mind is just on what the hell's been done to like take that thing down. I hadn't thought about that either. Yeah, here's my news for you, it's Biden. He has yeah. not anything, okay, <laughs> he has taken down any balls, etc. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.